anyone's legacy on this planet, any human being alive, is the lives that you touch. Rob, from the very beginning in the 60s, even before it was incorporated, it created a GED program, it created an ESL program. Rob got started as an organization approximately 1970, 1971, by a group of Latinos here in the city of New Brunswick looking uh, for an advocacy group to support uh, the community uh, at that time. I understood that it was much more than a community-based organization. It was actually the voice of the Latino community. I'm one of the founders of PRAB, and at that time, there was really nothing much going on for Hispanics. It was very challenging to serve PRAB in the 70s and 80s. It started with uh, offering uh, ESL, English as a second language to the community. Then a few years later, they opened up a daycare. PRAP grew to be one of the biggest providers of preschool in New Brunswick. I have served 45 years as a board member of PRAP. I believe funding was a primary challenge. Communities that were traditionally voiceless and disenfranchised are now, we're representing them and involving them in the conversation. It was very difficult because it's, it's all English and I came from Puerto Rico and uh, the language barrier was the, a problem then. But yeah, I had no choice. I was in the army. <laughs> you have to learn one way or the other. A few people, you know, like Laquita like Valenti, she, she been here, she was here for a while and all that. We all got together and, and come up with this organization. I've been on the PRAB board for a little more than 10 years. I was really impressed uh, with the fact that it was such a broad-based organization. We come from a long tradition in Puerto Rico of people helping people and this is what you see at PRAP, and that still is the heart of this organization. By the 1990s, we're, we're, we're really having a, a strong impact and working together so much that by the 2000s, we go from three early childhood centers, the Board of Education in New Brunswick gives us three more because they understood the, what that PRAB was doing something great with its early childhood program. PRAB uh, is well known throughout the community. I've known about them several decades now. To me, the most impressive aspect of PRAB uh, is how much they affect so many people. So in every way imaginable, PRAB has uh, really grown to become an operation that not only services the city of New Brunswick, but the entire Central Jersey region. The people from the past are the ones who laid the foundation for us to be who we are today. The one that um, took me in was the former CEO at that time called the executive director. His name was Guillo. Everybody knows him as Guillo. The biggest Puerto Rican you'll ever meet. <laughs> in 2007, in fact, we joined a statewide movement of the Family Success Centers that we've had for 10 years, and that becomes a space in Middlesex County where, where individuals are able, the families are able to grow. By 2009, PRAB becomes a community action agency and, and is now part of this national movement. PRAB is the agency that bridges the gap between the community, the Latino community, and, and the city. When we started, we didn't have too many places to go to, and we started with a uh, GED program in Spanish and English for people that were in need. The government recognized that and it, that was a big help. I actually went through the program, um, and so that goes back maybe when I was 14 years old, 13 years old, uh, I'm 26 now, uh, so you do the math. Um. <laughs> Serving as a member of PRAB on the board has been an honor and an incredible experience because I too have learned. I too have, have had that opportunity to look at the people's faces, especially the children. Everyone has made an impact. 
So you have in the 80s and the 90s, you have the executive director really leading the way, the charge around providing a voice. You have the previous executive director that was involved in, in the doubling of the size of the organization. But what's exciting about PRAB is, is, that, is that you look at, at, at the frontline staff and they're just as critical so that people can see their fingerprint and can look back at their time at PRAB and say, I was part of this. I am confident that we will continue to grow as we have in the last 45 years. There's nothing that could be better for the city of New Brunswick than PRAB continue to grow and continue to be a partner in serving the residents of the city of New Brunswick. And this I've heard from clients, these are not my words, I give hope to people. And it's not just me, it's the entire agency. We are a model and we strive to be that model for the future that yes, community can be part of the solution of a community, and in this case, Central Jersey. I just, I wanted to add that um, felicidades, Prab, and we're looking forward to 45 more years of service. Gracias.